All right, Morrill, thank you very much. I'm here with Boots Ennis. At Boots, uh, you've had some time off. Uh, what are your plans, and, and when are you going to fight again? Uh, just right now, just relaxing, you know, joining the fights right now. Uh, I should be fighting in, like, March or April, so just waiting. That's all. And, and you want to make your splash now at the 147. You feel you're ready for a title, or will you have one more about before you take on somebody uh, who's holding the belt? Uh, most definitely. I feel like I'm ready for a title now. And, uh, 2021 will be, I mean 2022 will be a big year for me. Uh, it, it's it's going to be the best year of my career, so make sure y'all tune in. Uh, I will be world champion. You think some of the folks are starting to try to avoid you? <laughs> I mean, they can't avoid me if I'm number one, so I got to be number one. And once I get down to number one spot, ain't no denying me. All right, Boots. How, how do you how do you like what you're seeing in this fight? Oh, this, this is a great fight. Uh, they they going at it and uh, they're going to war. <laughs> they sure are. We look forward to you going back to work, and we'll see you in March or April. Thank you. Appreciate All it. All right, Boots Ennis. Back to you, Mara. Thank you very much. What's good, YouTube? Yes. So, guys, we should expect nothing but excitement, devastation, and destruction from the 140-pound boogeyman. No one wants this assignment and many look terrified at just the sight of him. So guys, we can see that Subriel Matias looks fairly unorthodox when he advances, but this is his style and it works because he is an inside pressure fighter. At range, he is either blocking, slipping or sometimes eating punches, let's be honest. Now his main thing is to get past the onslaught of the boxer who he usually allows to be first and then contest the battle up close and personal. But he will sometimes box at range if his opponent is fatigued, is retreating or has not correctly understood the distance between them. Now guys, we've had a busy week of pure fantasy, mythology, hearsay, all of that jazz because too many individuals have drawn the same polarized conclusion that Subria Matias is somehow ducking Devin Haney. Just pure fantasy and hearsay. Now guys, it's fair to say that most of these ideas have surfaced from unofficial non-contractual conversations and we need to bear in mind that Matias is probably not media trained and will talk heavily on bravado. Guys, remember, he has a belt so he is an official Latino world champion. Now combining this with his 100% knockout ratio and the Latino fire that runs in his blood, well, this will mean that he's talking more than he's thinking. But to address the actual comments Subriel made, I believe he was responding to a question about Haney making demands and Haney as a fighter. There's a slight translation error in his response, but it's more of a perspective that he offers rather than an official rejection to fight Haney. So guys, in my honest opinion, I believe there is no real ducking going on here. I feel it's just people making content. In any case, both Haney and Matias have fights. Haney versus Ryan Garcia and Matias versus Liam Paro. Now when the dust settles, we can focus on the matchroom negotiations, managers, boxers, directly talking about a unification fight. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave a comment within the comment section if you have anything to add about Subriel Matias. So until my next one, peace out.